First of all, James, congratulations. A long road, a lot of hard work to get there. How did it feel stepping on the mound in Seattle for the first time? You know, it was pretty cool. Um, I had all my family and friends there, and, uh, you know, just being on that big league mound is something you dream about growing up. And to be there and have it all, you know, coming true, it was, it was pretty cool. Sweeter for you, being that it's in Seattle and it's so close to Ladner and Delta as a whole? Yeah, very cool. You know, it's easy for, you know, my family and friends to come down and watch. And, uh, you know, that's what it's all about, being able to share that experience with those people. And I feel like that was uh, really special for me. Now, it wasn't an easy day for you. Your your grandfather passed away. How, how did you handle that? It's not easy under any circumstances, handling the death of a family member. How did you deal with that that day? Yeah, you know, that was tough. Uh, that's how I woke up in the morning. I... Uh, you know, woke up to that news, and uh, that day, that morning was not easy. But, you know, in, in baseball, you kind of have to be able to, you know, kind of close the door to your personal life and make it all about baseball. And uh, I was able to do that. You know, before the game, I was pretty, you know, still pretty nervous and shooken up about my grandpa and that kind of thing. But, you know, I just knew that he was there to give me the strength to get through. And, uh, you know, that was what I focused on was just doing it for him. And obviously, as well, having a lot of fan support in the stands, people from Ladner, your family, what was that like? Uh, did you hear them at all out there? Not much during the game. Uh, when I was walking out from my bullpen before the game, uh, I stepped into the, into the bullpen area, and people were going nuts, and that never happens. So it was pretty cool. People were wave waving the Canadian flags and cheering, and my pitching coach even made a comment to me and stuff. So it was, it was pretty sweet. Now, a long road for you to get to the big leagues. You were originally drafted by Toronto in 2009, a first-round pick, 37th overall. You didn't in, end up signing, went back to school, the whole NCAA in, 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 ineligibility thing. Go back in the draft after playing for Grand Prairie, Grand Prairie in Texas, and then you go in the fourth round in 2010. Bit of an emotional roller coaster for you there? Yeah, I mean, it's not your, your normal road that people take to uh, get drafted and start their professional career. But, you know, I just had some, uh, some circumstantial things happen and uh, decided that I needed to go play uh, independent ball. And uh, that worked out for me, you know, got drafted by the Mariners and uh, got my professional career going. And I'm just happy where I am now. You played some pretty tough teams down the stretch. St. Louis, a division winner. Detroit, a division winner. Tampa Bay, a wild card team. Was it intimidating at all seeing, you know, some of those big names that those teams boast? Uh, you know, I honestly didn't really think about it. Um, obviously, it's it's pretty sweet to see, you know, to be facing guys like uh, Prince Fielder, Miguel Cabrera, Matt Holliday, Carlos Beltran, you know, all those guys. And uh, it's just so cool to be you know, growing up watching those guys play, and now I get to pitch against them and stuff. But I was just focusing on executing pitches and uh, giving my team a chance to win. Ten strikeouts for Paxton in just his fourth major league start, and he gets the Royals in order again in the seventh inning.